Yes, so this uh, ESCO, we present an abstract on uh, a new compound, which is called OMO1. It's an inhibitor, a strong selective inhibitor of the CMET uh, protein, and especially uh, targeting patients with uh, CMET aberrations. And these are actually in uh, lung cancer patients uh, present, very low frequencies. Um, but these uh, mutations are weird mutations. They are exon 14 skipping mutations, they call them. So it's a little bit difficult to detect them, but if you detect these patients, they're actually CMET-driven cancer. So uh, it's very important that we get uh, novel drugs that actually target that pathway. And so OMO1 does that, and I think that what we presented uh, this ASCO is that um, it's tolerated, the drug, we can give it, it's actually delivered, uh, and we provide proof of concept that actually uh, the drug also gives responses in patients with those exon 14 uh, mutations. And what endpoints or outcomes were assessed? So it's a real phase one study. So the first part really was about tolerability and uh, finding the right dose of the drug. Um, and that was actually done in an all coma population. Um, so very few responses were seen. Um, and so then we went into an enrichment cohort for the X114 patients. Uh, and there actually we did see some responses. Uh, and so the primary outcomes were tolerability, but also looking at efficacy in the sense of um, uh, response to treatment. Uh, and importantly also the biomarker outcomes, where we took biopsies, serial biopsies of patients with the exon 40 mutations. Um, and we could show that um, the drug is actually there, and it's actually hitting the target. So I think that's really interesting information, yes. Were there any specific adverse, event, uh, adverse events at all? Well, the drug by itself has a fairly well-tolerated uh, adverse event profile. When you really go up in those, uh, you see some weird events where patients have flu-like symptoms and uh, sort of kind of cytokine release problems. Um, but if you give it at the, the dose where the MTD is, actually the, uh, the side effects are really well manageable and uh, mainly uh, gastrointestinal side effects such as uh, nausea and vomiting. And what was the optimal dose of this drug? So we ended up uh, giving our patients 250 milligrams BID. Um, and whether that really is the optimal dose, we'll have to see. Uh, but that's currently the selected dose for future development, yes. And what are the next steps for this research? So the next steps will be that we're going to be able to um, uh, expand the number of patients with those exon 40 mutations. I think that's really crucial uh, to show proof of concept that this drug inhibits the driver mutation in these patients. Um, but then uh, soon after that, we'll go into a very much um, uh, expanded program where we're going to combine it with other compounds. And the first one to combine it with is um, uh, EGFR inhibitors um, because CMET amplification or CMET signaling um, is one of the mechanisms by which patients become resistant to EGFR inhibitions.